Hi everybody, it's Jim Kelly. Wanted to take a few minutes today and talk a little bit about short sales. In particular, the top four questions I get asked all the time about the short sale process. Let's start with defining a short sale. A short sale is when a seller arranges with their mortgage lender to accept a price that is less than the amount owed on the property. Very simply, let's say you owe $300,000 and the house is going to sell for around $100,000. That's the market value. The short sale would be the difference between what you owe on it and what it sells for. Okay, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, will the bank require me to pay the difference in the balance? And that's a good question. I answer it like this. The key is to act responsibly. Stay in contact with your bank. The bank's going to ask you for a hardship letter. They're going to ask for income information. Put a package together. Maintain your property. Try to find a buyer that will purchase the home at market value. And in most cases, you'll be in good shape with the lender. And we can talk in detail about that. The next question I get asked a lot is, why would the bank forgive the balance in the loan? And the answer is simple. For them to short sale the property, it saves them a lot of money as it would compare to foreclosure. Foreclosure could take months, maybe a year longer. Uh, there are attorney fees involved. The cost is much greater for the banks. They would definitely rather work with you through the short sale process. The third one is, when does it make sense to short sell my home? The answer goes in a couple different answers. The first one would be, let's say you have a situation where you've lost income at your job and it's very difficult to make the payments on your home and maybe you're at the point where you're going to fall behind. It's definitely going to be a situation we should look at for a short sale. The hardship is you don't have the income coming in to, to maintain the property and make the payments at that time. The second one is going to be, and we see this a lot here in South Florida, let's say you lost your job here but you could pick up a job, let's say, at another state. You have to sell the home. Well, if you owe a $300,000, let us say, for instance, and it's worth one hundred or one that's definitely a short sale as well. The third one is, we're starting to see this a lot in South Florida, is when financially it just makes sense. And what I mean by that is, is that it's, it's very improbable that your property is ever going to be in a positive equity situation again. And in some cases, the deficit is very dramatic. Uh, that might be a situation where it would be a short sale. And the fourth one would be, is if you've been declined for a loan modification. Now we want to be careful there because a lot of times the banks aren't getting the right information. We want to make sure that they, they did look at it and you've done everything you could do to get your payment lowered. And we can talk about that more in detail with you know with your specific situation. But that would be the fourth reason is if you had a, uh, a loan modification declined. And the fourth question is going to be that I get asked quite a bit is, why a short sale and not foreclosure? The truth is the foreclosure process is very costly to the bank. Um, it's a lot harder for them to go through it. The bank will almost always come after you for a deficiency judgment, the difference, along with attorney fees and several other things. It almost re always results in a bankruptcy for the homeowner. Uh, when you get hit with that deficiency, you know, how are you going to handle that? And then, of course, the credit issues that come with it. So by far, the short sale is the best way out of it if you can work with your lender and find a buyer uh, through that process. Okay, this was just an overview, and everyone's situation is different. If you fit into one or more of the categories of when does it make sense to short sell my home, uh, feel free to call or email me. There's a link below. You can click on the link. It'll take you to my blog. Please put in your email, your phone number, your name, and I'll get back with you within 24 to 48 hours. Now, keep in mind that working with a realtor through the short sale process is absolutely free. So thanks again, and I'll talk to everyone soon.